hello we have seen before uh, how do we did actually a relationship uh, using Microsoft Access everything we've done we done we have done it by design in this uh, uh, video we're going to be doing a one-to-many relationship based on of course SQL statement all right let's make something so easy so we could identify it very easily with the uh, commands uh, I'm going to build a, a, a small database based on two tables, uh, customers and books. Uh, the relationship is going to be one for the customers and uh, many is going to be the books because a customer could buy multiple books. Uh, let's go ahead and start first of all by designing uh, uh, or creating that table for the customers. And I'm going to uh, start with uh, the create command in of course table and, and the name of it is going to be customer and I'm going to open let's call it customers plural open parentheses and I'm going to start with the uh, ID for the customers so you start always with the name of the field then the data type which is going to be integer and since I'm actually making it uh, it shouldn't be null so it's not null and also I'm going to make it the primary key so you could have a a comma then I'm going to say here last name and I'm going to make it a variable char of 30 character also I'm going to ask it to be not null uh, also we're going to have first name and uh, again bar, bar, uh, bar char variable char and we're going to go ahead and have 30 also not null okay and as <clears throat> we will actually see this is probably uh let's let's say this is enough for now so you don't want to make it very large because we're going to focus on the relationship more than anything else and here we go we're going to go ahead and uh, close this and i'm going to put a semicolon here as you notice, I didn't put a comma on the last one. So we have an ID as the primary key, last name, and first name. And we're going to run the query. Uh, uh, OK, we have already customers already been created in my database. Uh, uh, I'll go ahead and do it, uh, my customers, knowing that the website itself has a customer uh, a table. So as you notice we're going to go ahead and have one here my customers so i'm going to go ahead and populate a couple a couple uh, uh data here saying insert into <coughs> my customers uh values and i'm going to say here uh, id uh, one for the first and then we're going to say here smith at the last name then john then uh, that's actually basically what we had here so this is we're going to run this query uh, we added a uh, here we added one uh, customers and if i run this one here you notice it's going to have the id one smith john uh, i could go ahead and insert another one here quickly insert into <clears throat> my customers and values and of course, it has to be different ID because that is the primary key. It will not allow me to have one again. And I could say here, Roberts, and we could go ahead and say Janet. Uh, and this is going to be two of them there. And while I am there, I'm going to go ahead and do a third one. So three, and we could go ahead and say here, Jones, and Mary and that will give me three customers in my table my customers so if i run this here uh say select uh, everything from my customers okay it should be able to show me the three uh entry there all right now this is the one in the relationship we're going to go ahead and do the many relationship uh, remember when we do a many relationship we have to think about the foreign key the foreign key is the same exact primary key that we used in the my customers which is the ID I have to repeat it there for the purpose of link 
uh, linking the two tables, and I'm going to establish the referential integrity uh, by uh, writing the exact code that is needed in order to make sure that there is no uh, customers will be uh, added in the mini table, which is going to be the books, without having uh, already uh, without being already entered into my customers. So let me go ahead and create the table of the mini table, which is I'm going to call it create table books. Okay, and I'm going to open and we're going to go ahead and ISBN number. And that is going to be, uh, let's say, var char 5. Now I'm going to limit it to 5, not null. And this is going to be my primary key as well. Okay. And, of course, we're going to go ahead and say title for the book. And a char, let's say here, 100. Okay. And also, I'm going to force it to be not null. And let's say here, price. And we're going to do a decimal, and that's <clears throat> another. Now we have to go ahead and establish the referential integrity in this table. First of all, before we do the referential integrity, I need to add, uh, let me go ahead and do this not null also, and I'm going to go ahead and say uh, ID, and that is integer that's coming from, uh, this is the foreign key, foreign key. This is a common here. Foreign key uh, matches matches the one uh, the one uh, I the one in the my custom in my customer table table. Okay, and now we could go ahead and as you notice here, we could go ahead and put a uh, comma here. This is dash dash is a common uh, remark. And now we're going to say constraints. All right, constraints. I'm going to say if K, uh, this is the name of the constraints. I'm going to go ahead and put underscore. I usually name it uh, with uh, both table, my customers, and I say books here. And I will say foreign key. K, okay, foreign key. Uh, and that is going to be the, in this case, the foreign key is going to be the ID from the table of uh, my customers. And references, here we go, references, okay, plural, and I'm referencing uh, books. Okay, uh, in this case, this is a book referencing actually my customers. In this case, referencing my customers and referencing ID, which is, uh, call it ID here. So this is basically, and this way we'll be able to actually uh, make it clear that the ID here is the foreign key and I'm constrained making the referential integrity. That's mean I cannot add uh, the foreign key unless it does exist in that one table, which is the uh, my customer in this case, and as you notice here, referencing uh, my customers and specifically the ID, which is the primary key in the one table. Let's go ahead and run this. And as you notice here, we were able to add the books table. And I could go ahead now, please take a look at this very careful. And I need you to really know this by heart. Uh, practice as much as you can in order to do it. And uh, this is, should be able to really uh, make it easy if you spend some time just doing some practice over it.